Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here. And welcome to another pickups video. Now I thought I'd do another pickups because wow, I've been getting loads of Sega in and some other nice pieces. And so my pickups videos don't go on for ages and ages. I thought I'd better fit one in now. It's been a good couple of weeks since my last video. And um, next weekend is Revival. So Revival at Warsaw. For once a Revival event is closer to home to me. It's still about a three hour journey, but I'm looking to make that journey and make an appearance at Revival next weekend. All things crossed that that goes successfully. And I can't wait to meet some fellow YouTubers and some people that I chat to on Facebook, on the groups like Galaxy Sega and Retro Realm. It's just really nice to put a face to a voice or to a text and get to know some people. So, you know, to me, that's what this community is all about, is we all share the passion for retro. We all share some passions for games, whether it be Nintendo, Sega, you know, we've all got that inner geek, that inner, oh, what is it, you know, that inner thrill for the hunt of chasing a game down, getting it, putting it in a collection, playing it, you know, there's certain games just lately that I've been wanting to play for years, finally got hold of them so I can give them a blast. And yeah, without me waffling on too much, let's get underway. Now we're going to start off with some eBay purchases. Now, not often I buy much on eBay, as you've heard me say in the past, I'm a bit unlucky on eBay. I get the odd bargain every now and again, but I usually always miss out by a sniper bid at the end. Or, you know, perhaps it's just me not bidding enough money. But, um, no, I picked up some bargains. This is all off one seller off eBay. And first up, we have a sealed copy of Racing Aces on the Sega CD. Now, I'm looking to sort of, like, get all the um, NTSC American exclusives on the Mega CD. Or Sega CD. This looks like a sort of stunt racer game. Obviously it's sealed, so I haven't played it yet. Tempted, I'm always tempted with sealed games to open them. I want to play them. But yeah, that's the first one in that bundle. And then next up is Thunderstrike. This actually looks a really good game. I looked at this on YouTube, watched a couple of gameplay videos. Looks really, really good. So again, it's sealed. It's got a little bit of a tear there. But yeah. Brilliant. And then finally, off that same seller, Stellar Fire. Um, never heard of this game. I don't know anything about it. Uh, your typical sort of like 90s, um, sort of like on rail shooter it looks like. You know, where you've got your cockpit view. Yeah, it looks interesting this one, but again it's sealed. I don't tend to buy sealed games, but there's a few <laughs> this week. Um, but yeah, so that's those three. Again, I've never played any of them. Um, like I said, I've watched some footage of Thunderstrike, that looks half decent. But that's a great addition to the Sega wall and to go with my other Sega CD games in, in the wall. So really pleased with that. I think in all, that cost me about £35, something like that. Really cheap deal. I was really chuffed with that. Uh, a great little deal. Now that's all I got off eBay um, over the last couple of weeks. Everything else is off the groups, predominantly um, Galaxy Sega. Now, I've sold my 32X collection and all my games, so with the money, I've been looking to reinvest it into more Sega, and I put a post up on Galaxy Sega and Retro Realm saying that I'm after Mega Drive games and, um, and the like, and I had a great response. I had some great guys get in contact with me and sold me some superb games. So let's get underway with the first bundle. And that is off a guy called Tim Hartnell, a great Galaxian. He responded to my ballistics post. I put a ballistic game post up, an accolade, accolade ballistic, um, wanting the box games. I don't know why the last few weeks I've been picking them up and wanting to add a load of those to the wall. So here we go. First up, there's quite a few off Tim. We've got Warp Speed. Again, this is another space shooter. I did give this one a quick blast. And these are in fantastic condition, guys. Really, really pleased with the condition of these, Tim. Absolutely chuffed to bits with those. The manual, the boxes, the inlay. 
in great, great condition, as I've with the carts. And something I didn't realize is you get a little card with these accolade releases, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's warp speed and a great addition and in really, really nice condition as well. I'll put that the wrong way around. Warp speed. The first one up off the list. And then we've got quite a big hit here, and that's Double Dragon. Double Dragon, I remember loving this game on the 8-bit systems. I loved this game on the Master System, and I played it on the Spectrum and the old, all the old home computers. Never played it on the Mega Drive. So I was really keen to get hold of this, but it's not a cheap title. Um, but Tim done me a great bundle deal price to get this. And again, it's in absolutely lovely condition, guys. The manual is perfect. And again, it's got that little card. I think they're really cool. And the cartridge, yeah, all, all in great condition. It's got a little tiny bit of wear, a little bit of shelf wear. But we can live with that, can't we, guys? You know, shelf wear doesn't bother me. It just adds to the authenticity of it and, you know, the age of it, if you like. So yeah, there's Double Dragon, guys. I'm really, really pleased to get that in the wall. And I was really, really um, chuffed to have a blast on it. It doesn't play too bad. Double Dragon is always a game that I had great memories of being young, but the game plays a little bit missing nowadays. It's a little clunky on the controls, a little bit unresponsive. Um, I can't remember it being like that on the Master System. Um, it plays well on the Mega Drive, obviously, graphic update, closer to the arcade. Great little game. Really tough to put that in the wall. Let's move on. What's next? We've got Pele. I think this is an American release. A lot of the accolade titles come out in America in boxes, because I do know that Pele is available in your standard Mega Drive box. But again, it's nice to have this edition. This one's slight not as nice condition still really really good and presentable though look at that so there's Pele unfortunately it hasn't got the free pro style soccer ball <laughs> and then next up we have winter challenge now this is in really nice condition it's got a little tiny tear in the corner there but apart from that again it's minty there's the manual the little card again I really like these little cards and we've got a control card hmm, interesting obviously an update for the instructions a warranty card there and then the manual uh, the cartridge even in perfect condition and the inserts in really nice nick as well even though I've just pulled it out which I really didn't want to do so yeah, again, really, really chuffed with that. In awesome condition. Winter challenge. The next up, Tootie beat me to this game about a week or two ago. And I thought, oh man, but Tim had this one available as well. And that is Hardball. In absolutely glorious condition. There's absolutely no wear to this one at all. Obviously not a great game, no one's played it. <laughs> but look at that, the manual. I don't mind baseball games actually. I used to play them quite a lot when I was younger. I'm not sure if I've ever played hardball though. There's another card in there. Again, another little warranty thing there. Hardball is in its original baggy, which is always good to see. And it's in absolutely glorious condition. Really, really pleased with that really really nice to have some really good condition ones of these in the wall I've seen some ropey ones um, but it's cardboard you know maybe this is why I'm a big Sega fan is because they use the hard plastic cases rather than boxes um, but no I'm happy with them that's really good so that's it of the, the ballistic accolade titles that I got off Tim he then showed me a load of, of other Mega Drive games he said look I've got a few more if you're interested and it turns out that he had a load that I needed. So, without further ado, 
we've got Double Dragon Free. Now this is a game I can remember playing on, I think it was the Amiga, and being so disappointed with it as a kid. But to be quite honest, it doesn't play much better on the Mega Drive. It's really, really, it's like it's taken two steps back, really. Yeah, not impressed with it. Yeah, graphically, okay. But it's just the whole control mechanic, really, really off. Um, I, gave it a, I gave it a quick blast, got through a few levels. But, you know, a great addition, Double Dragon, the history behind it all in the series, real iconic series in the 80s, great to have it in the wall. Next up, we've got Havoc. I really enjoyed playing this game. Um, you're like a seal, I believe, or... I think you're a seal. I'm not sure. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. A great little platformer. Done by Codemasters. They always done a solid game back in the day. Or oh, developed by Data East. So, you know, it's a really, really good little game. I, I played that for quite a bit. Really enjoyed it. I believe there's two versions of it. There's one with a colourful sort of cartoon case and then there's this one. I quite like that. Tim done me a fantastic deal on this because it needs a replacement case. And I'm sure I can sort that out. And then next up, a game I've been after for quite a while, this one. And that is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Now this game has eluded me quite a few times on eBay. And then when I've seen it on Facebook, which you don't see it on the, on the groups as much, but when, when it does appear, it tends to disappear really quickly. It's, it's not a really expensive game, but it's, it's, it's a harder one to get hold of. It's uncommon, shall we say. Um, it, it plays like a poor man's Castlevania. Again, I'll give this a blast. I enjoyed the music. The music's really good. It's really atmospheric. And yeah, it's not a bad little game. An average um, sort of action platformer. Really, really pleased to have it in the collection. Next one is Mega Games 6 Volume 3. Now, I don't know much about the Mega Games. I know this one's a rare one. The annoying thing about this is it's got the car. Everything's there. But the manuals are all separate because they don't fit in the case. Really, really annoying, but the manuals are all there in great condition. So annoying. Why don't they fit in the case? Can someone answer me this? Do they fit in the case? I don't know. So yeah, there's Mega Game 6 Volume 3. Another one that you don't see that often on the groups, and that is Prince of Persia. It's quite a shock because I, you know, I used to play this game like most back in the day. It was mostly on the Amiga again, I believe, that I played this. But this is in absolutely great condition, guys. Never played the Mega Drive version. Not, have a, not had a chance to give it a blast yet. But um, I'm sure I shall do over the weekend. Yeah, really looking forward to playing. I actually quite like that box art on there. It's pretty good. So yeah, there's Prince of Persia. So Mega Game 6 was a blue spine, which I forgot to add, and I've got one more blue spine, and that is Asterix and the Power of the Gods. God, this one's a bleeder to get as well. It's not one that appears often. Um, again, it's in absolutely fantastic condition. Again, like on the Mega Drive, it's a platformer. There's lots of them. Quite small sprites on this. I gave it a quick blast. And very detailed, but the sprites were a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. Lots of different traps and mechanics you can do. So yeah, not a bad little game. And it's a blue spine to go in the wall. Really, really chuffed with that. Um, I'm over 100 blue spines now. I think when I counted, I had about 110. Um, I haven't got an exact figure of how many blue spines there are. I believe there's about 160-ish. So I'm getting there slowly. Um, so yeah, that's it that I got off Tim Hartnell. Thanks, Tim. That was an absolutely brilliant deal. Really, really chuffed with that. Next up, I'm gonna change it up a bit. It again was a Facebook um, purchase off Retro Realm. And my good mate, Dave Ashton, and Nintendo Dave, uh, we chat loads 
in Messenger and that, and I've helped him run loads of raffles and things like that on the rail. So he's been holding this for me for ages. Now you're gonna say, whoa, a Nintendo product, Scott. And that is Game & Watch Popeye. Now I can remember being a kid and my best mate, or one of my mates at the time, his older brother had this, and I can remember we used to sneak off when his brother weren't there to go and get this out of his room and give this a blast. I can remember absolutely loving this. It's one of those memories that stuck with me, and Dave done me a, an absolutely great deal on this. I've been looking at these on eBay for a while, and wow, they go for absolutely serious money like all these Game & Watchers, I suppose it's the age of them and the condition is pretty damn good on this. Um, there's a little tiny bit of damage to the poly there but I'm really not bothered about that. It's got all its manual in a nice little bag. And there it is, now the batteries aren't in it. I'm gonna do a future video showing off all my LCD games. So I'm hoping I can focus on this more but this lifts up and it looks glorious, it clicks back and it's a great little game. So many memories come flooding back to me because I literally haven't played this game since back in the day. So loads of nostalgia with Popeye. And really, really enjoyed giving that a bit of a blast actually. Really great. And Dave, being the top man he is, he saw one of my previous videos where I was going on about my Sonic Walkman and that I didn't have a tape and he sent me an awesome free gift and that is Supersonic HWA featuring Sonic the Hedgehog. Great little cassette there and yes Dave, I gave it a play. Awesome mate, awesome 90s, cheesy ads, brilliant. So really, really chuffed with that Dave, thank you mate. Moving on, off one of my admin on Retro Realm, Paul Murdoch. He just randomly sent me a picture of this and said, Scott, would you be inter interested in Ishidu? Um, it's sealed and it's an accolade release. So again, it's an American release. He was happy to sell that to me and got it for a really great price. Thank you, Paul. Really, really chuffed to put that in the wall. I'm gonna dedicate a shelf somewhere for the ballistic and accolade titles. Really, really looking forward to that. So thank you. Oh, and again, it's all sealed, so it's going to be bugging me to open it, but hopefully I won't. Um, and then moving on, a purchase I got of Galaxy Sega of Josh Arnold. And that is another winter challenge. This one is in good condition too, guys, to be honest. I purchased this off after I got the load um, of Ballistic Titles off Tim. And you know, I'd already paid for this, so I'll let this one turn up, but it's in great condition. I might swap the lid. This one's got a little tiny bit more wear, but it's not split on the corner. So I might swap that over and then trade it on. And then also off Josh, I got Wiz and Liz, which is a Sugnosis game in great condition. And do you know what? I've never played it. I've played most of them Sugnosis games but I've never played this one. Hedgehog Records, $39.99, look at that label. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like another little detailed platformer, so I'll be giving that one a blast. And then this bundle, I got off Who Stewart. Again, he responded to my wanted list, and he had some great little games. Um, first up is a Genesis title, Tri Triasia, Triasia, I cannot pronounce that guys, Triasia, best I can do, <laughs> I'm sure you'll all take the mickey, um, renovation products, again it's complete in great condition, I'd imagine it's an RPG, so that looks really really good, looking forward to giving that a blast, and then also a poo, we got Bob, which is an electronics arts release. It's got the manual and the car all in great condition. Next up is X Mutants. Never played this one, X Mutants. Again, in nice condition. 
has got a label on there which I'm hoping I can get that off and another one on the on the instructions but I'm sure with a little bit of patience I'll get them off there but again X mutants really looking forward to that another game actually which I've been trying to get hold of for a while which again you don't see often and that is snake rattle and roll now I think I remember playing this on the NES I'm sure this was a NES game back in the day um, I didn't realize it was on the Mega Drive and then trying to hunt it down you don't see it around that often especially again not on the groups but look at that in absolutely glorious condition really really pleased with that and then finally off Josh Marble Madness what a frustrating game this was I can remember again having this on the 8 bits I believe and my goodness it was a frustrating game it's all complete there is a crack in the case on this one but I'm sure I can change that over so really looking forward to that giving that a blast and getting angry with it like I did all them years ago and, and that's it guys that is all of what I've picked up over the last two weeks loads and loads of Sega to add to the wall um, again I will be doing a future video on all my LCD games so I'm going to show Popeye off and a load of others that I've picked up so look out for that one guys um, let me know in comments if you're going to Revival next weekend, the 19th and the 20th of May. Be glad if you, rec if you recognise me or anything, or I recognise you, we'll come and say hello. Because um, that's what it's all about. Really looking forward to that. I'm not sure which day I'm going yet though. Could be the Saturday or the Sunday. That's not been finalised yet. But I'm Sega Zombie. Until the next time, goodbye.